Here is a uh, young comedian from New York City. He's making his first appearance on The Tonight Show. Ray's going to be at the uh, uh, Bananas in Poughkeepsie, New York, next weekend, November 22nd, 23rd. And he'll be at the Comedy Stop in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the 2nd of December through the 9th. This is his first time. Would you welcome Ray Romano? Thank you very much. You're very nice. This is uh, very exciting for me. The first time here on the West Coast. I just got here yesterday with my wife. We spent the whole day shopping, of course. She wants to buy a car phone now, my wife, for no apparent reason. She wants a car phone. People are just a little too phone obsessed now, don't you think? Oh, you know, cars, planes, little pocket phones. You know what they're going to do? They, sooner or later, they're going to make a phone into a little, a little microchip that everyone will just have surgically implanted in their ear, <laughs> and that'll be the end of it. Wherever you go, oh, I'm going to call one second. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you? What's up? Good. Yeah, how are you? Oh, my other line. i got to put you on hold. Oh, <laughs> Billy. Hi, Bill. How are you? Yes, I'm talking to Joe. Here, I'll put you on conference. Got to talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, how are you guys? What's up? Well, well, hold on, guys. I'm getting a fax. One second. <laughs> Thank you. So all day we were shopping. We went out for breakfast earlier. You know, breakfast has to be the most annoying meal to order out, only for one reason. Let me ask you this, folks. Is there an orange juice shortage in this country? <laughs> what, what's the deal there? Because I'm always like, waitress, please, large. Large jumbo juice. And a little thimble of juice comes out. <laughs> My wife ordered the small, and they came around with a damp rag. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I should have got a large. <laughs> we're married four years, me and my wife were married. And we didn't live together first, which I recommend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. No, here's what I recommend. If, if you have no experience living with a woman like I didn't, have someone brief you before you move in. A briefing will help, just for the first day. You're going to make decisions the first day that affect you forever. And I, I blew them all. Really. And I'll tell you the most important one. I'm finding out now. It's the side of the bed you're going to choose. Yeah, you can't. Don't overlook that, because that's your side for life right there. <laughs> no changing. And I blew the call. I, I didn't look at the TV angle. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I just, I went with my childhood instinct. I took the side away from the door in case the boogeyman comes in. Okay, all right, the boogeyman will get her. I'll be in my spaceship by then. We have a baby now, too. We're proud parents. We have an eight-month-old daughter. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks. She wants five. This is the sad part. She wants five kids. Yeah, that'll... That's never going to happen, five kids. How can that? We're not even going to have sex that many times again, to be honest with you. No, no. Married people, you know what I'm talking about. What happens to sex after marriage? My sex life came to such a screeching halt. An airbag popped out of the bed. I'm sleeping with a crash dummy now. You know what else? I'm finding out when you live with a woman, there are duties in the house that a man is automatically given. And not the common ones, not just the garbage. There's little obscure ones you find out as you go along. For example, in the middle of the night, I am now the automatic noise checker-outer. Yes. <laughs> Every little, oh, what was that? No, nothing, go to sleep. No, check it out! What do you mean, sleep? How can I sleep? That's a burglar, maybe. He might have a gun, too, so go. Get him. Be careful. Put your slippers on. Bring me up a yogurt. All right, honey, thank you. I'm the noise checker and the bug killer. I'm the bug killer. Why? Why? Why do women think men like bugs? You know, like bugs. I'm squeamish. The other day, my wife screamed. I ran up to the bathroom. And this thing frightened me, really. I've never seen a bug that large. It was gross. And we have a clean bathroom, OK? My wife wrote that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
need a disclaimer in there. But we had a huge bug. Even for New York, it was huge. It had graffiti on it. It was incredible. Yeah. Oh. And she's hysterical. Oh, kill it! Don't look! Kill! And you don't kill... You don't just rush in and kill a bug like that. You have to plan it out. Oh, what if I swing and miss this guy? I don't know if he has the gift of flight, for one thing, all right? I'm not ready for a kamikaze bug. Then she tells me to spray it. The women think any aerosol can could kill a bug. Yeah. She says, use deodorant. I've killed bugs with deodorant. I'm trying to kill a monster with deodorant. And all I could find was the roll-on. No, oh, this ain't working. God. He likes this. Yeah, he wants his tummy done. Look, beautiful. Beautiful. I have a friend now. <laughs> but we're happy. And we're adapting well to parenthood, too. I hope I'm a good parent. You know what I'm worried about when kids start talking and they have questions they need answered? The touchy ones. That's what I'm dreading. My daughter, you know, she'll be like, she'll be four or five years old, and she'll see me, she'll see me coming out of the shower. Oh, Daddy, wait a second. What's that? And, uh, I'm just going to go, look, go, go get your mother, and I'll explain it to both of you, okay? 